Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about Egyptian walking onions and why I think they're just honestly so overrated. Um, the name is pretty catchy. It's awesome to find a perennial allium, but to be honest with you, there's better alternatives that are honestly not that much work. Let's be honest. Um, you can see here, this is kind of what the plant does, is that it forms a nice little stem which then gets to a certain height and it bends over and then this portion the flower head touches the ground and when it touches the ground it roots itself in here and forms a whole new egyptian walking onion and that's kind of how they walk that's kind of how they multiply now they also have a bulb and which i've dug one up here you can see but the bulb is not really that big it's not really that tasty it's also very difficult to peel it's just not worth using in the kitchen. It's just not very tasty. Um, I, I just can't really find a big use for it. In fact, I can't find a big use for the bulbs or the, the flower heads here either. Because the flower heads, again, are really small, difficult to peel. It's just a pain to use them in the kitchen. It, and they don't have any superior you know, attributes. Like, are they better than onions? Are they better than garlic? Are they better than other alliums? The answer is no. And then they have this stem, which you'd be like, okay, well, maybe you can use the stem. And I think you can, but when it becomes so tall and, and thick like this, you can see it's hollow like a green onion, but it's not really good to eat. In fact, it gets pretty solid down here at the base and it becomes super solid. And this is just really tough and difficult to use in the kitchen. And uh, to be honest with you, I think they only really function as green onions and I want to show you guys here's one that I had picked off of a younger uh, Egyptian walking onion a fresh one so kind of like as if we planted this flower head and then it sent up those new shoots which you would normally see in the spring this is kind of what you get and it's actually a pretty decent green onion and that's to me the only use that this thing has and it's its best characteristic so for me it's not really worth it. I think you could easily get spring onions just by planting spring onions um, and then letting them flower and go to seed every year. You could have a patch of spring onions that would just be unnecessary to have Egyptian walking onions. Over here is the same thing that they don't really get that pretty either. You know, they kind of look sort of ragged towards the end of the year, towards now in August. They put out these flower, like these flower heads. You can put them anywhere you want, which is nice. But you know, I just don't think they're that great. And here's exactly what I was showing you guys before with the a younger Egyptian walking onion. That's really not in that high density either. So this is kind of like not even getting that many green onions, but or spring onions, however you guys want to pronounce them or how whatever you guys call them. So. To me, it's just all in name. It's pretty overrated, guys. A walking onion sounds really cool, but it walks, but it doesn't really walk the talk. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna talk to you all soon. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe. We'll talk to you all soon. See you for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone.